Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to use addition to check subtraction. Now, addition and subtraction are very closely related in that they're opposite operations, so to use addition to check subtraction can be a pretty straightforward process. Here are a couple of examples. You know, for example, that 9 minus 3 is going to equal to 6. Now, obviously this is subtraction, but to use addition to check it, what you can do is you can use, use a little bit of algebra to kind of um, help you there, and that's where the addition part comes in. So to verify and to check that 9 minus 3 is equal to 6, what you can do is you can add 3 to both sides, and that's where using the addition comes from, and you have 9 is equal to 6 plus 3. So if 9 minus 3 equals 6 is indeed true, then to check it, then by adding 3 to both sides, then you can say that 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. So that's a way of um, checking things. Now, another way to do this would be if you have, let's just say, 100 minus 20 is equal to 80, since you know that's true. Again, you can verify by checking it by adding the number that's being subtracted on both sides. So if you add 20 to both sides, you have 100 is equal to 80 plus 20, that's going to give you 100. Or you can think of it this way, leave the two numbers as they are, 100 is equal to 80 plus 20, and you have it checked for you. Because if it's true that 100 minus 20 is equal to 80, then it also has to be true that 100 is equal to 80 plus 20. Basically what you're doing is you're taking the, the answer and the subtraction problem and you're adding the number that was being subtracted from the original, and you're pretty much done. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to use addition to check subtraction.